please. Hey. Please, I beg of you. Please. Ma'am. Hey. Please, please. please. Ma'am, let, let go, okay? I don't want to call the police. The Karen, one of the most feared creatures known to man, has regrettably evolved. It was long believed that the so-called racist Karen was nothing but a mere myth, but now that we have the internet, it is quite evident that the exact opposite is true. Never fear though, because a channel by the name of Soul Snack is here to save the day, and they have created a video titled Crazy Karen Tries to Steal PlayStation 5 from Black Teen. Then she calls the police on him to provide the people with a sense of hope that these vile creatures can, in fact, be defeated. And I think it is only fair that we give it a watch and see whether it should be recognized as the ultimate guide to defeating racist Karens or if it should just be dismissed. I hope you enjoy, let's get right into it. Excuse me, may I ask you a question? Oh, hey, yeah. How did you get that PS5? Because I just came from the store. The setup for this scene is absolutely incredible. It's not like the building behind her looks more like a federal prison than it does a store, but okay, whatever. And they told me I'd have to reserve it, and then I would have to wait for up to a month for shipment to come in? Yeah, ma'am, you'd be lucky if you got it in a month. I had to wait three months for mine. It's crazy. Three months? That's way too long. That's ridiculous. I know, I know. Everyone in the world wants one. I mean, they only make with so many units per month, so that's why they're backed up. This may sound crazy, but c could I offer to buy it from you? I mean, it's my grandson's 10th birthday tomorrow. Did she not listen to him about how he literally had to wait three months for his PS5 to arrive? There was no way he was gonna sell it to her unless she had an extremely high amount of money in mind, which I doubt she did. How can the writing already suck this badly? I'm so sorry. I, I waited so long for this. I, I couldn't sell this to you. Please, um... I how about I can pay you double for it? Please, please, I really need it. Sorry, ma'am. I, I, this is not for sale. Best of luck, though. Why don't you just sell me the darn thing? I mean, how old are you anyway? Aren't you a little bit too old to be playing video games? Assuming this lady hasn't just started acting, isn't she way too old to still be this bad at it? What's age got to do with anything? Hmm. So that's why you people never work. You just sit on the couch all day playing video games. You people? Really? If you've ever heard the stereotype that black people only play video games, I would like you to tell me more about that in the comments because I've never heard it and it almost seems like they only made that stereotype up to disguise their bad writing and further the plot. <laughs> okay. Come on, please, just sell me the darn thing and then you can have more time to find a job. Okay. Racists are one stupid group of people, but I doubt that even they would be so stupid as to believe that someone they've been racist to would sell them their PS5, even if they double the price. Please. Hey. Please, I beg of you. Please. Ma'am. Hey. Please. please. Ma'am, let, let go, okay? I don't want to call the police. The police? <laughs> go right ahead, call the police. And when the officers show up, I'll just tell them that you try to steal it from me. Who do you think they're gonna believe? You're me crazy lady. or you? Well, considering there's this legal principle called the presumption of innocence, any rational police officer wouldn't just jump to the conclusion that you must be telling the truth because you're white. And let's not paint the entire police force with a broad brush and claim that they all must be racist and that's exactly what's going to happen because that would be a lie. Crazy. No, come on, please. Please, please, I beg of you, I really need please. it. Please, <laughs> please, oh, please, come on, please. You see, that's exactly what I meant when I mentioned this old lady's absolutely extraordinary, Oscar-worthy acting. Not so fast. She's like a discount Cruella de Vil in her car. <laughs> that 
That is cinematic genius. It's not like you could actually see him driving so slowly that he would have definitely been able to break in time if he had to. Lady, are you si you just hit me? Oh, no, 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 don't you turn this around on me. Ma'am, I had the right away. You merged into my lane as I was heading out because you wanted to get my PS5. Don't, don't do this. <laughs> Look, nobody's going to believe you. When the cops show up, it's going to be my word against yours. And you know darn well who they're going to believe. No, we do not. And it's stupid to act like the police is entirely racist because that's just not true. Hello? Yes, I just had a car accident. Yes, I'm at the Woodbridge Hill Shopping Center. Can you please send an officer right away? I've never heard of or seen a person so proud of having a car accident. Now what makes you think they're gonna believe you? Ah, oh, don't be naive. Okay, listen. Just give me the damn thing and I'll take the blame for it, okay? My insurance will cover all of the damages and we'll call it a day. Otherwise, I'm gonna blame this whole thing on you. Wow, you really are crazy. Oh, there comes the patrol car. Oh, officer, thank you so much for coming so quickly. To anybody who was looking forward to seeing the patrol car, I'm very, very sorry to disappoint you, but it seems like it wasn't in their budget. Hey guys, so I'm gonna need to see both your IDs. Yes, officer. Okay, here you go. Thank you, thank you. Okay, here you go, and here you go. Okay, Mrs. Davis, tell me what's going on here. Okay, so I was pulling out of the shopping plaza, and this man came out of nowhere. She's lying, right officer. All right, all right, let's calm down. Let's calm down, please, one at a time. I find it very hard to believe that a police officer at the scene of a car accident would question and take statements from the people involved in said car accident together and not separately. Okay, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, I was pulling out of the shopping center when this guy came out of nowhere and crashed into me. Officer, that couldn't be the furthest from the truth. Oh my god, that guy's right. It couldn't be further from the truth because the police officer is actually a corrections officer disguised as a police officer, which would explain the lack of a patrol car and why they're standing behind a federal prison and the two people fighting each other are just escaped lunatics experiencing delusions. Now it all makes sense. She approached me in the parking lot. She asked to buy my PS5. I respectfully declined and she became enraged, crashing into me. What are you talking don't, about? Don't talking all right, about. all right, all right, settle down, settle down. So you're telling me that she crashed into you purposely because you didn't want to sell her a PS5? Yes, officer. Oh, officer, do you hear how insane that sounds? It really doesn't sound so insane. He could easily just show the PS5 to the police officer since he's got it in his car. Then it wouldn't sound like some random excuse. Okay. You both know that lying to a police officer is a felony, right? Yes, officer. Yeah. All right, you guys see that camera right there on the building? The one that's pointing right towards us right now? Y yes. Yeah. I'm going to head inside that store. I'm gonna ask the view the footage, and then I'll know who's really lying and who's really telling the truth. Wow, so I've watched this entire video just so they could expose the true liar in the most cliche way possible. Video surveillance at a shopping center. Okay. All right. Unless, you know, one of you wants to step up and tell me what actually happened here. I think that's a wonderful idea. Officer, um, could I speak to you for a moment? Please? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I have to fess up, it really was my fault. But all I wanted to do was get that PlayStation thing from my grandson. Okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere, now we're getting somewhere. And I do appreciate your honesty, Mrs. Davis. None of this makes any sense anyway. Did she honestly believe there were no cameras in a bloody shopping center? And what was she hoping to gain by crashing into that man's car? Had he fallen unconscious, she could have stolen his PS5. But did she really believe that wouldn't have come with any repercussions at all? Okay, don't to rub it in. You know what, just finish filling out that damn police report. I should have known you, you two of a kind would stick together anyway. I'm sorry, what was that? You heard me. Okay, that's it, that's enough. Turn around, 
You're under arrest. What? Let's go. Well, what are you arresting me for? I'm arresting you for lying to a police officer, disorderly conduct, and causing a vehicular collision with intent. Considering I'm not hearing any handcuffs, I'm guessing they weren't in the budget either. What? All I wanted was to buy a PlayStation. Your wish just came true, my dear. What do you mean? <laughs> you have plenty of time to play at the station. The police station, that is. This play on words has got to be part of the 10 worst jokes I have ever heard in my entire life. What? Let's go. Get out of here. Oh, this is Come not on. the end of this. You're going to hear from my boy. Yeah, I've heard it a million times. Yeah, no, you heard it a Let's million go. times. You're going to hear it another million right, right, times. Right, right. It seems I was correct about the handcuffs, and this video should just be dismissed because it's definitely not a good guide on how to defeat racist Karens. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Don't forget to comment for future video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.